Hey everybody, it's Desiree again, and today we are going to talk about bookmarks and how to organize them. Come on, baby, let the good time roll. Come on, baby, let me thrill your soul. Come on, baby, let the good time roll. Roll all night long. Come on, baby, yes, this is thing. This is something I Organizing your bookmarks might seem a tad bit overwhelming at first, but it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. So we'll start off with just showing you how to make some folders. Um, it can be just as simple as um, hitting control or right click, depending, um, regardless, PC, Mac, or you know whether or not you're using a mouse or you're using a, a laptop. Anyway, so just go down um, after you right click and uh, let's see if I can move the camera over just a bit so you can see what I'm doing here. So I right clicked and then this pops up and you just click new folder and it'll make one of these. And again this sort of um, works across all browsers. Um, I'm on Firefox here, I'll show you on Safari too. It's exactly the same. With Firefox it's really nice because you can take whatever brow, uh, whatever window you're looking at and you see how I'm able to drag this here and I can literally drag it into the folder and drop and it'll it'll just go up there. I don't want to save this so I'm just going to leave it down here. On Safari you can right click to make folders but uh, so Safari is not as simple as Firefox. You can't just drag and drop the tabs you actually have to go up into bookmarks and either click add bookmark or use the add bookmark key which for Macs is Apple plus the D symbol at the same time and then when you do that it'll just go Apple D and you will see this little box here and then it'll let you pick which folder you'd like to stick it in so again, I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to save this. So you have them all saved up in your browser. Say they're just all helter-skelter. You'll want to make the different folders, and it's easiest if you just go into the drop-down menu at the very top of your screen called Bookmarks, and then go to Organize Bookmarks. And you'll see this window here pop up. And you can see all of my folders there and you can just drag and drop things around as you like. You can make new folders underneath the folders, drag them elsewhere. Very simple and easy to use. And I would say just make up your own scheme. So figure out what all of your favorite sites have in common. Um, mine I have set up by project tools, social media, client sites, exercise, church, you know, whatever you're into just organize them all into the different folders it'll make your life a lot easier now once you have them all organized you might want to actually be able to share them with your other browsers depending on how many different browsers you use so to do this you'll just go to either you can just export and I would also recommend while you're here backing up all of them but this pretty much be the same thing anyway just click export HTML and then it'll put it into your folders and it will look like this and you can name it whatever you want but I named mine bookmarks.html and then you just go to the other browser it's Firefox for import Safari is the same way though it's under file import bookmarks export bookmarks now Safari has a little symbol at the top right here, top left, sorry, that looks like a book. So you can click on that and it'll do show all bookmarks. It's really nice and easy to organize them. The thing I like about Safari's bookmarks over Firefox's, although I prefer Firefox as a browser, is once you go into your bookmarks, it'll actually show you what they look like. So it has a little preview just like all the other Apple folders do. 
And again, this is going to depend on which version of the Mac OS you have. I have Leopard here. I would assume Snow Leopard's similar. I'm not sure about the earlier versions, what they're going to look like. But I can just go into my folders here, click on one of the sites, and it'll show me a nice sample of that website. So this is really nice if you're wanting to just flip through a bunch of um, I, sites that you like and see what they look like really, really quickly. Now, another thing for organizing your bookmarks and saving them is Delicious. It's a fantastic site that is hosted, hosts all your bookmarks online and also lets you tag them with different words so it's easy to look them up later on. So you can see a couple of different sites I have on here, um, recent tags, and you just click on any of these and it'll bring up every single site that I've tagged. And you can really simply import your bookmarks. Just go to settings and it's at the top right. Scroll down a little bit and it says import and upload bookmarks. Click on that and it'll walk you through the process of importing your bookmarks into Delicious. When you first sign up it also gives you this option so it'll be really simple but for users who've been on there a while this is just kind of a, a way to get back to that stage. Now there's a few other places that offer uh, bookmark back. Um, so if you say have a work computer and you also have a home computer and you want to be able to share in real time your bookmarks. Um, Google, for example, has something that you can download that will allow you to share them. I don't have it on my computer, but I can show you where you can get it. Just give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, now using the Google toolbar, um, which would be anything that's up in this area, you would have a little drop down menu and it would allow you to add bookmarks but it will also let you save these bookmarks online and you can see I have some still from when I used to use this. So if you go into google.com slash bookmarks it will allow you to export, add bookmarks, so on and so forth and this is really nice for um, sharing across to more than one computer. So that was our update on how to use bookmarks and organize them across all of your browsers and share them online. I hope this was informational from you and again if you have any questions, comments, or if there's anything in your life that is just, you know, hard for you to figure out as far as the internet goes, I'd be more than happy to help. Go ahead and just send me a tweet at twitter.com slash DesireeV. Otherwise, obviously you can find me on Facebook, YouTube. Um, all you have to do is Google Desiree V, D-E-S-A-R-A-E-V, and I'm pretty sure about the top 2,000 results are me. So, see you guys next time.